All right, so this is the tutorial if you're going to um, install the TCU mod from EvoScan. So um, that product is available on uh, EvoScan's website here, and you can see uh, this is what you're going to purchase. So you'll click that. Um, you'll choose all the options you want. If you want a tuning guide, if you want um, uh, master clutch pressure added, um, there's 7%, 10%, 15% intervals available. Um, and then uh, the uh, um, pass through can, if you have that, um, they also have like uh, installation help and all that kind of stuff. So if you need help with that, you can choose that. And then um, then you need your VIN number so that you can get uh, your VIN locked to the uh, mod itself. So um, it's going to get emailed to you. So that's what to know about everything there. Now I've purchased it and everything. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my Gmail and here is the set of instructions needed to do everything so this is what you need um, you'll need a pass-through can um, that's up to you to figure out on your own how to get that all set up. Um, it's kind of complicated, but um, just take your time and you can get it done. What you're gonna receive from them is uh, new CFF files and a new um, FL part file. So that's what's going to be uh, changed in your directory of folders. So um, you're going to follow these things carefully here. The one that we will be using is the um, 151 to 151 EvoScan SST mod 7% file. So I have chosen to do 7% additional master clutch pressure um, through my mechatronic unit to uh, get a little bit crisper shifts. Now when you're transferring all these files and everything, um, the recommendation is to do everything in the non-86 directory. So program files, make sure you have that your pass-through can is installed there. Um, so you're going to be going in there to modify everything. So um, we're going to pull this up. Um, let's see which files I have. So. Um, we're going to start with the CFF RPG data. Um, now, as you can see, it says put all of these CFF files into the folder. C program files um, pass through CAN RPG data CFF. So, as you can see here, we're going to be in there. I can't really show you there, but that's where we're at currently. Pass through CAN. Um, then we're going to go to RPG data CFF and all of these files are going to be put into this directory real quick and you need the administrative permission if that is what your operating system requires and that is done so that has been extracted over so we're going to close that out and we're going to go over to the next extracted folder we're going to go into diag db and then we will follow it up with the xml um, now we're opening up the zipped folder um, from uh, Evo scan so this is going to be what we do here so we're going to do only one FL part file into this folder and the one that we want is 151 to 151 Evo scan 7% FL part file so we're going to go ahead and grab this guy drag him over administrative permission and we're done. So technically everything is complete as far as the file transfer goes. Um, now we're going to close everything out and everything will be executed through pass through can. All right, so I couldn't get my laptop to work. So I'm just went ahead and drug my PC all the way out here and we're gonna do it that way. 
So I've got the uh, Tactrix chilling, and I'm going to plug it in here. Everything you saw me doing was done on this PC anyways, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it from here. So I restarted and drug my PC out here, and I'm going to just check everything real quick. So, um, local program, pass through. Let's just make sure everything's still in here. So RPG CFF, everything is still there. Good. And Diag DB XML, 7%. Heck yeah, so we should be good to flash. So let's pass through can system common. Let's boot up. Alright. So I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and plug this Tactrix in real quick and see what happens. Alright, Tactrix is plugged in. Popped it up here. Connect it to the vehicle, turn the ignition key on. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh, I need my keys. Okay, so in the Evo, I'm going to turn it to on. I don't know if it's on. No, it's not on. This is on, probably. through the teach-in process uh, I'm at the second stage here the shift fork teach-in so this is probably the most important part um, plausibility checks done but you can hear a lot of clanking going on I'm assuming I'm gonna need to rebuild this thing pretty soon but we'll see what happens all right it says that that's complete now so it looks like we're gonna go on to Looks like it says to turn the car off for five seconds and start it again, and we'll do some other methods here. Moving on to the next one. Clutch ventilation. That one was pretty quick. Just kind of move down the list. Stroke teaching. That just finished up and this one's going to be the loud one. This one is the boost teach-in, so this is going to be really high revving. Um, probably like 4,000 RPM, so get ready for it. Here it goes. It's about to go crazy in a second. Critical. 
I don't know if you saw that, but it was like right on the money, not fluctuating a whole lot there at the end. I think it does one more. Still executing. like bouncing all over the place so you can see how it's crucial to get this tuned and teached in all right mission complete on that one so that should have the boost set uh, we're going to move over to clutch gain. This should be a quick one. So let's go ahead and clap that one. All right. We have finally made it, y'all. So many, many hoops to jump through to get to this point. Um, the pass through CAN software, if you're going to do some flashing, you have to buy a license to use it. So I had to go to this uh, Mitsubishi Tech Info site. Um, I have literally a 24-hour subscription. It costs 20 bucks so that I could use this. So I'm going to get three uses, I think, out of it. But I had to do that to sign in and everything. But as you can see here, I'm going to be going to that 7% extra. So hopefully uh, by getting this implemented, we will get everything done and fixed. And we'll go test it out. So um, I'm going to hit this button and see what happens. All right. Hit the green button. Reprogram. Let's, let's do it. So the car started beeping. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. And now they said it gets stuck here for like 30 to 40 seconds on 1%. So I'm not going to hold it the whole time, but we'll check with you in a second. A lot of stuff going on on the dash. Obviously the car's not even on. It's just doing a bunch of random things. So... It's riding, it just jumped to 6% right as I just looked over here, so, yep, there it goes. Alright, now, it's moving pretty good, so we'll just see if it's going this pace. I'll hit with you here at about 90% or something. Getting towards the end here, so we'll see what happens. Still some goofiness going on up here, but uh, should be getting pretty close to done. We'll see what happens after everything is wrapped up. Card did a little beep a leap. All right, let's see what happened. All right, so I have disconnected from everything. I have turned the car off. We are turning back on to run the mod for the first time. So, startup's good. Um, I did already clear the DTCs, so um, oh, it works! I already know it works because it was instant, dude. Look how fast that is. That was a five-second hold. So this is what I'm hitting right here. Sport normal, right? So you used to have to, so up one click, went into sport, just like that. 
but to get to super sport you used to have to just one two three four five release then it would go into it but it's instant now and not only that it was locked out at speeds under like 10 miles an hour or something like that so you couldn't access super sport while rolling under 10 miles an hour or something like that that's that might be bs but it was a really low speed um and now we can allegedly change this at any speed we want so um i'm supposed to have seven percent added master clutch pressure so let's go test this out so it's feeling pretty good y'all I like it a lot um, as you can see I can just flick right into uh, sport mode down to normal but yeah flick up sport flick up super sport I'm riding we're at 60 miles an hour so it's working great um, the 7% you can feel it a little bit for me not as much I've like eaten the crud out of the clutches so I need some new clutches basically so they slip quite a bit but I think that extra 7% like makes them feel like what they should feel like let's just give you a little taste of what it looks like with the fresh teaching it's really responsive I love it let's go but yeah it bites it bites hard Mexico you know so definitely get this mod um, I can drastically feel it and it's gonna make roll racing much more fun for Evo guys with SSTs because you can go right into super sport so yeah 47 bucks a little bit of elbow grease I guess you got to pay for the license to flash it and everything like that if you're trying to do that but you're probably gonna pay upwards 350 something like that for someone else to do all this but I can see why there's a lot of hoops to jump through and everything like that but we're up and rolling thanks for checking this out and uh, we'll see you next time guys peace